Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we are in the town of Brindleton Bay and I am building a relatively small house for a pretty large family. Um, let's see, it's been probably like a month since I've built this house in real time. I just never got around to doing a voiceover for it. Um, like I was saying in my last few videos, just me starting a new job kind of got, I don't want to say got the best of me, but it just didn't leave me with as much time to do these videos. Uh, but I'm getting back into the swing of things, thankfully. And so, um, yeah, I think this is the fourth video that I've done this weekend, which is pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> it, it usually takes me um, quite a bit of time to do one video, but I need to start kind of speeding myself up when it comes to the building process. Once I get the house built and it's time for me to edit the video and do the voiceover, the editing and the voiceover does not take nearly as long as it takes me to actually build a house. I am a huge perfectionist. That's just what I'm gonna blame it on, <laughs> is me being a perfectionist. And so if the house does not look exactly how I envisioned it to look or it looks off in some sort of way, then a lot of the time I just scrap that house, which is a huge waste of time. There's really no need for me to do that. So going forward, I'm going to try to um, just make myself finish the build, even if it's not up to my standards or how I envisioned it to be. Um, this house was not one of those houses. I am happy with the way that this house turned out. I think it's like really cute actually. Um, like I was saying, it's it's a small house for a pretty large family or medium to large family. I'm trying to think, so I know there's two parents. Uh, I think I got room in here for two pets. Um, I think a dog and a cat if I'm not mistaken, but you can really rearrange the pets stuff to do whatever pet combination you want. I went into building this house wanting to do a horse as well but once I got like the yard and everything done there was no room for a horse <laughs> and so I went away with that idea so there's the two parents the two pets I think I did like two teen twins if I'm not mistaken and then like a child and a toddler or an infant or yeah I think it's a toddler and a child well in any case this is an eight person household so it really is a small house for eight sims probably the smallest house i have built for eight sims i mean look at how big the inside is it looks a lot bigger on the outside than it is on the inside <laughs> i mean um it was it was interesting to try to figure out the floor plan i should say i mean you guys kind of see me starting to mess with the floor plan now and yeah it it took me some time and some figuring out, but I finally got it in the end. I ended up having to make the upstairs a little bit bigger. <laughs> I uh, just added like that extra like space in the back instead of having those three walls. Um, I'm not really sure how what you call those, like the walls with the windows on the outside that's on the top story. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I just had to remove those and just made it all one area and that definitely helped me in the end. It made the floor plan so much easier. So it's finally coming together. I plopped a bed down there because I had to remember that that's where I wanted the master bedroom to be. And then the rest of the children's rooms are upstairs. And then downstairs there's a bathroom. There might be two, um, but I think there's at least a bathroom. And then there's a bathroom upstairs as well. And all of the rooms upstairs do look kind of wonky shaped. Um, I don't love the shape of the rooms upstairs, but I didn't want to just close off like those long rooms that have the windows because then like some of the rooms wouldn't have a window. And then it's just, you know, it's a waste of space. I feel like if I were to close that space off and so I just made the rooms extra long <laughs> in some portions of it. And the room upstairs, um, it's, it's like the hallway upstairs where you first walk up the stairs. There is like a super long hallway that leads to nothing. 
<laughs> but a window. And so the space that I kind of thought to like use there was an easel and I thought it made sense. I mean, it's, it's an easel upstairs and it's looking out of a window. So I just feel like there would be some really good lighting come th coming through that window during certain parts of the day. And I literally had no idea what else to put there. <laughs> and so I ended up putting like an easel up there. And here's the bathroom upstairs. I think as of right now, I'm just trying to lay it out. I'm not actually decorating it. I'm just laying it out to see what I can place where. And so now I am getting a sim and bringing them to this house so I can play test everything that I put down. Um, I had an idea of putting a toilet in that really long area of the bathroom and I thought that was a really good uh, like idea to put there was a toilet and also right here by the way I lost some stuff I don't know I don't remember what happened maybe I forgot to record once I came back to the this build um, but anyways we did lose part of it um, all we lost was me kind of putting a rug down and putting paint on the walls I believe I don't think you've seen me do that and then I halfway decorated the master bedroom and that's about it that's really all you guys missed so there's a lot more to see me do um, I hate having like a gap like that in my build but it is what it is i didn't want to scrap the whole build because of it i didn't think we missed enough to where it just ruined the whole video um i there's still plenty to do see um and so i'm just doing like this little dining area right now i tried putting this food bowl with this bed under the staircase i've put pet beds under the staircase before and it worked fine but my Sam could not get to that chair right there and they could not get to the food bowl. So I do end up moving that food bowl to the other side. And I think I ended up leaving the pet bed over in that area because I think if I'm not mistaken, a dog or a cat can actually lay in that pet bed under the staircase. I know I've tried it with the big pet bed before and they were able to get onto the bed and so I kind of try to utilize that same thing here. I'm just trying to make it look like a big family actually lives here. Um, this really is a small house, guys. Like it, it took some fiddling around to get my Sim to be able to go in between things. I know not everyone likes playing in a house this small, but I myself think it's really fun to have a lot of Sims in one house that's small like this. Um, there's just something about it that is fun to me and then you can't lose your sims. I've had many, many times where I've had like four sims, maybe even that, in like a big house towards the end of like a rags to riches gameplay and I lose my sims. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I, I have to like right click on them to find them in the house and so that's the main reason why I'm not too fond of playing in that big of a house. I much prefer a smaller house. Um, let me know down below if you're one of those people that like bigger houses or you like to play in smaller houses. Because I'm really curious if I am the only crazy person that likes to play in a small house. Um, let me know. I'm really interested. And now we are in the kitchen and I am getting the decorations up on the counter. The style of this kitchen is really cute, I think. It's very homey and it's it's a unique design. Let me just put it that way. Um, the way that the counters are, it's almost, what do you call that? Um, that style of kitchen that's like really long and skinny. I can't remember. It's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Um, it, it reminds me of that style of kitchen, but it's not, I think, the style of kitchen that I'm thinking of just has counters on both sides and not any on like the end walls if that makes sense um, however this kitchen has like counters all the way around and I thought it turned out pretty cute and then I put like the the cabinets up on top and it just looks really filled in and I was I was quite happy with it and we are over I 
put a computer, I'm sure you guys see me, I put a computer into the hallway right in front of the staircase and yes, your sim can use that and they can in fact go upstairs as well. Um, that is the main reason why I pulled a sim into this house is to play test it just to make sure that the tight spaces can actually allow sims to walk through. Um, nobody wants to download a house off the gallery and your sim has to go outside to get to an, a different room of the house. Like that is definitely not ideal. And so I really try my hardest to play test builds that are questionable like this. Some builds that have a lot of space, I know I don't need to have a sim there. Like I know that they're able to walk around certain areas. But yeah, just a tight space like this, it, it was very useful to have a sim. <laughs> and then I got the downstairs bathroom done. It's you know, nothing special. The same bathroom I always do, pretty much. <laughs> and now we are over into the master bedroom and the design or like the shape of the bedroom was quite interesting. Um, and so I tried to do something different with like the wall paint. So I did like a darker blue with a lighter blue and then I put a mirror on that wall behind the dresser. And I think it turned out really cute. And then I put like a, what, like a side table or a hall table, I guess I'd say, right above the TV that I have in there. I figured the parents, they have so many kids, you know, and the kids probably take over the living room half the time. The parents definitely need their own TV in their own bedroom um, so that they can have some quiet time and just get away from the kids when they need to. I, I'm sure all parents have those moments. Um, I don't have any kids, so I... I wouldn't be able to relate to that, but I, my sister has kids and I, I've had friends that have had kids and I can just imagine, you know, kids can be a lot sometimes. Gotta love them, you know, can't live without kids. They're just so sweet and cute, but they have like so much energy. <laughs> and so it's, it's nice to get away from them every once in a while, I'm sure. And now we are up doing the bedrooms upstairs and I originally thought that this room I had for two teens that were twins but now that I'm looking back I think it's children and I believe I envision twins it's either twins or two children really close in age one of the two because this is the sim so um you can have kids like three days apart if you wanted to. <laughs> and so um, just twins are really close in age. And I love that Penguin TV. I think I've used it a lot lately. Um, that's just super cute to put in like a teen's room or a children's room. It's just really adorable. I love to use it and it makes sense to have their own TV in their room as well. I think I end up putting a TV in the teen's room too. That room right there next to it that has the other um, canopy bed is what, I don't think that's what you call it. it. The bunk bed that has just the top. I can't, I'm having like a lot of brain farts today, guys. I can't think of that word either for some reason, but it's definitely not a canopy bed. It's um, a bunk bed with just the top. <laughs> And what I am doing here is just pulling out some of these like children's drawings from the gallery. I didn't want to just sit there and have a child sit there and color for hours. <laughs> and so I just pulled them off the gallery. So thank you to whoever did this very time consuming task. It helps us builders out a lot for those of you that do that. And um, yeah, so I ended up putting those on the fridge and I love doing that. If I feel like spending some extra time then I will like delete the walls around the fridge and place the drawings up on top of the fridge by using like the nine key to lift up and stuff and I think it's just like such a cute little touch it makes it feel so homey and I love doing that I do that uh, quite often as long as I feel like it because it like I said it's very time consuming <laughs> And so now we're just kind of flipping back and forth between downstairs and upstairs. So I am back upstairs finishing up the children's room now. I'm just placing like different wall decorations and stuff like that. I pulled out some of those ribbons. I think they're like high school years and there's different like drawing swatches and stuff. And one of the swatches is a bunch of ribbons. And so I put it in this room. I thought it made sense since this is shared between two kids 
they both have their ribbons up there. And so it's, it's just kind of a cute thought. And I really just try to make the walls look as cluttered as possible, especially in like children's rooms or like my family builds in general. I feel like if there's a bunch of kids in the house, then most likely the walls are gonna have a lot of like paintings or wall decors or pictures, drawings, like a bunch of different stuff. And so I try to utilize all of the different drawings and like wall decor in my family builds. And I think it turns out super cute and super like lived in, which is the goal uh, when I do these family builds. Like I, I want a house that uh, it's obvious that a bunch of people live here, you know? Um, I can't say that enough for some reason. Like, I know this is not the first time that I've said this today. So, um, please forgive me if I repeat myself when it comes to that, but that's just how important it is to me to make sure I have such a cluttered build when, when it involves a big family. Uh, but anyways, we are over into the teens room and I pulled out that hat. I think that's such like a cute, little extra detail to have like a hat sitting on a desk like it definitely looks lived in you know like the room like I literally just got done apologizing for saying that so many times and now I'm saying it again but it's true and so um, I pulled that out and I figured that this teen was really into like gaming as well as like sports and so I kind of thought that they might be like a video game streamer as well as like a part-time job sort of thing. And I'm also just pulling out some posters, trying to fill up the walls a little bit. And um, the I also put a football over on the counter. And yeah, as you can see, there's lots of wall decor on every single piece of wall in this room. And I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to place the rugs. Um, I love layering rugs for some reason. I think it just turns out like really, it just adds an extra detail that I feel like is needed sometimes. Not all the time. I don't always want layered rugs in a build because it does make it look messy sometimes. So it's definitely something that you have to be careful with and you have to, it took me a while to figure out how to layer rugs and layer them good. Um, I thought it seems like an easy thing, right? But for, for some reason, I had such a hard time figuring out how exactly to layer rugs. But I have been doing it a lot lately, so I guess it's safe to say that I have figured out the secret of it. <laughs> and uh, now we are over into the toddler's bedroom. And here in the toddler's bedroom, I was trying really hard to do a different style than I usually do. It's not very often that I pull out those like action figure looking um, like wall decor, wall decals, I guess. Um, I They almost remind me of Power Rangers in a way. Like I wonder if that's what they're supposed to be. Or Transformers, that is what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's not every day that I pull those out. It's very once in a blue moon. Like this is probably only like the second or third time I've actually used them. Maybe the first time, like I don't, no, it's not the first time. It's only like the second time, I think. It's, it's definitely not something I use often, but I think it turned out really cute in this room. Like I, I really went back and forth in the style that I wanted for this toddler's room. I usually stick with the same themes. It's either like sports or super like princessy or like a, a jungle theme. <laughs> There's really no in between, but this one is definitely different. It's just really red and blue and then of course like the transformer decal and This room was a pain in my neck when it came to figuring out how to place the rug um, Just the shape of the room and how small it is it Was giving me a hard time as you guys can see <laughs> I probably should have just placed down that um space rug and called it a day but I feel like I needed something else right by the bed and so I ended up placing that little circular rug and it it turned out good in and the end. we are finally done with the inside of this house and I I love the way that the inside turned out and it is a hundred percent playable I tested every single aspect of the house I mean you guys seen my little sim running around all over the place so and we are now outside and just finishing up the outside. I 
stalled when it came to the outside. I usually do the outside first, I feel like. That's kind of like my favorite to do. When it comes to furnishing the inside, I get stuck a lot. So I, I try to save that until the end. But for some reason, the outside of this house just, I could not decide how I wanted to decorate it. And so I ended up saving it for the end. <laughs> And I'm putting the litter box out here because I came to realize, oh crap, I forgot a litter box. I think I do that every time I put a cat into a build um, or like the stuff that a cat needs in, in a build. I always forget about the litter box until the last minute. And then I'm like, oh my God, I already put like, the bathrooms are already filled. Like I don't want to take anything out. So I ended up just putting it outside. I don't think it's very realistic to put a litter box outside, but in the Sims it is. It's fine, guys, it's fine. Um, and so I also did like a little tree house out here. I am addicted to placing these tree houses, I've come to realize. Ever since they came in the Growing Together pack, I literally use them in every single family build that I do, I feel like. And if I don't, it's literally just because there is no room to place it. Um, so sorry if it's a little annoying to you guys that, uh, I use them all the time, but you guys might be like me and you might absolutely love them. I, they're not perfect. Don't get me wrong. They are not perfect. It's, it sucks that you can't actually go inside of it with your Sim, but it's, it's good for like a quick little, like cute thing you need in the backyard. I can make my own tree house. Yes because I have figured out how to do that successfully using only the base game. Um, it's in one of my previous builds, if you guys are interested in seeing that. I think it's like the lake house one. Um, so definitely go check that build out if you're interested. And I also did a greenhouse there, I think, too. But um, it just takes some time. So if you're looking for something quick and easy and you have the Growing Together pack, then just placing down this tree house really makes a difference in time. And it makes the yard look cute too. And here I am, I pretty much have it all done. I have all the landscaping done and over here I battled back and forth with what I wanted to put here. And I finally decided this is like a family house. And so I thought it was a really cute idea to do like a little fire pit area and put those, um, what do you call those chairs? Why can I not think of words today, guys? Um, those camping chairs. I, I know that there's a real name for them, but you know, the camping chairs, like the folding chairs. I thought it was really cute to place like different styles of those, like a frog one for one of the kids and etc. And it turned out really cute in the end. And so that is what I'm doing here. And other than this, we are pretty much done. We are approaching the end now, so. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then definitely leave a like so that I know you did and I will bring more family content in the future. And also, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. The chances are, if you have made it this far in the video, you you enjoyed it. I mean, just be honest, you, you enjoyed it. So definitely stay tuned for future videos. I am getting back into the swing of things. So with all of that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so